In this video, we're going to look a little bit at power functions. We are mostly going to look at four special cases, though. Let me at least define a power function in general. A power function has the form f of x equals some number a times x to the power of k, where a and k can be anything. In general, power functions are really too complicated to say much about. x squared is a power function. 2x cubed is a power function. x to the 1 half is a power function. 3x x to the one third is a power function. The point that I'm trying to make here is that all of these graphs are the graphs of power functions, but they all look very different from one another. And that's why I say that in general, Power functions are kind of too complicated to study. However, if we limit ourselves to the case, where this power k is a natural number greater than or equal to 2, then things become significant the easier. And instead of having all of those cases, we have essentially four graphs. And all we're going to do, as far as power functions go, is that we're going to show you these graphs. How this breaks down is that A can be positive or negative, and K can be even or odd. So, for example, k even, a positive. If we go to Desmos and we graph a bunch of examples of this, We see a lot of similarity. Oh, it's true that the details differ, but fundamentally, all of these graphs look basically like that. Not a parabola, but parabola-esque. And 
we should know from um previous material that if we take a graph and we multiply it by a negative number, that will flip it around the axis. Let's go back to Desmos. And yes, indeed. If we make those negatives, our graphs look like this. Let's make these positive and let's make the powers odd. Let's bump them all up by one so that these even powers are all odd. These are the graphs we get. And of course, it varies in the, the fine detail. But the graphs all looked basically like this. This is the k odd, a is positive case. And this is the k odd, a negative case. Let's just before we end this video, let's look at that last case on Desmos. So these four cases are important and you need to know these graphs, but only because we're going to use them again when we get in this very section to another type of function called a polynomial. So, this is all you need to know as far as power functions are concerned.